hot lips around that steel log. Oh, oh, baby, you're mm. making me so hot, mm. so wet. Oh, yes, baby, just mm. put it in me. Mm. Oh, do it, baby. Oh. I'm a bad boy. Yeah, do that. Yeah, spank me. That's it. Do it. Do it. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Just do it. No, well, don't do that. But because human beings don't do that. Be because it's disgusting. Thank you. Carlo, can I see you in my office for a minute? You may be seated. I'll stand. I heard your conversation a few minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, and? And you know it's your job to keep people talking as long as possible. Frank, you heard what he was asking me to do. It was disgusting. I'm sure it was, but you know the rules. If talk is cheap, you're doing it wrong. Now, if he says, I want to put my whatchamacallit in your so-and-so, then you're going to say, I would love to put your so-and-so in my whatchamacallit. And if he says he wants to fill your hands with who's in the watsits and smear it all over your chest, then you are going to say, I want to fill my hands with who's his watsits and put it all over my chest. Oh, 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 oh. Capiche? Fine. Capiche. Good. Ah, uh, Carlo. We're not done. Come here. Closer. I don't bite. You're fired. What? Frank, you're gonna fire me on Christmas Eve. You're right. I I I'm sorry. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dear tenant, we are writing to inform you that your current lease is up on January 31st. Effective February 4th, the rent is coming to the $3,000 of... You are f kidding me! Hey, Carlo, what's up? Oh my God, I have just had the worst day ever. I got fired from my job. I actually got fired from that stupid job. And I get home and there's a note at my door saying that I have lost my rent control. My rent is going up $3,000 a month. Wow, good. gee, that sucks, that's awful. That's just, I'm so sorry. It's December 24th. It's freezing cold outside. Why am I sweating? Uh, Listen, can I come over tonight? I just... Right now? I just do um, not want to be alone tonight. That's, uh, you know what? Tonight's just... Tonight's not, not really going to work out for me, I don't think. Well, what are you doing? I'm just, you know, I'm just really busy and stuff, you know? Okay. I guess. Um... I guess I'll talk to you tomorrow, then. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks.
your eyes I didn't drop in Can I have a Cosmo, please? Thank you. Hi, Emma. What do you mean you lost your job? What do you mean? What do I mean? I lost my job. Good. That was a horrible job. Now, what are you going to do for money? I will get another job, Ma. Where? Doing what? More of that dirty talk? Well, if it pays better, yeah. Don't be a smart ass to your mother on Christmas. Yeah, Carlos, save it for New Year's. Thank Look, you. that dog going to sit with us the whole night? Yeah, Ma, it's a dog. It sits. You know, I gotta be honest. I agree with Ma. I'm actually kind of glad you lost that job too, Carlo. I mean, it really was disgusting. I know. It God, was the disgusting. stories you told me, the things that men do to each other. Please, can we just eat a fucking Christmas <laughs> Christ? Yeah, let's just eat. <laughs> All right. Uh, Here's more parm. Here's some meatballs and sausage. Where's my fork? Where's my serving fork? Ma, Ma, Ma. Ma. All right. Did I tell you, Vito's brother Angelo, he's got diabetes. Oh. Say. Now, Carl, how are you going to pay your rent without a job? Well, in actual fact, Ma, I don't have to worry about that because they are throwing me out of my apartment. Oh, my God. Why, what did you do now? You see? See? Ma, I didn't do anything. They took my rent control away from me. My rent is going up $3,000 a month. $3,000? Those motherfuckers! Good God. There's no cursing on Christmas. You're, You're moving, moving in with me and Eddie. Father. Oh, my God. This is not happening. Look, 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 Carlo. Just move in with Eddie and me for a while until you figure things out. And Eddie can get you a job. How is Eddie going to get him a job? Eddie can't get him a job. Not in this economy. Exactly. And let's be honest. Brenda, you know, Eddie's not doing so great himself. I'm sorry. Go back to the matter. Shut up. All right, now look, Carla. Tomorrow, God help us, you are going to be 40 years old. Now you got to get serious about your life. You're a grown man. You're moving back in with me and your father. Al, get your shit out of his room. Oh, my God. Ah! 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 What up? Ray Allen just hit a three-pointer. Fuck. Hell, man. Al, you're on your own. Five years. Al, Albert, sit down. Come oh, back in. Ma, enough of this. Enough of this. You, we're not finished talking about this. I'll get you a book. What, are they giving you more grief for being a queer? Shut up, Alfonso. What? I didn't make him a fudge packer. Oh, shut your fat fucking trap, Alfonso. Did I, did I happen to mention that Vito's brother has diabetes? Yes, you do. Oh. It's still very sick. Eddie, get me a beer. Ooh, a beer. That sounds delightful. Eddie, bring me a beer, too. These pigs feel delicious, Alan. Good, honey. I made them for you. Let me tell you, my job is not as disgusting as these pigs do. Well, my shit isn't as disgusting as these pigs do. You are disgusting. Go away. Seriously, now. What are you going to do? I'm going to get another job, Ma. Tell me what. You dropped out of college to be an actor. You're going to go out and get a job as an actor now? Who makes a living as an actor besides De Niro? Do you remember that little piece of shit play we went to see? Oh, please don't remind me. It's Christmas. I didn't understand one word of that whole goddamn thing. And that theater, oh, that smelly little theater, it was like a garbage dump. Stunk. And then you, running around stage naked with that colored guy. Ma, 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 they don't say colored anymore. The word is African American. My Vincenzo beat up a colored guy once. Ma, Dad was scared to death of the colored African Americans. Oh, the sausages are delicious, huh? Thank you, I made it for you. You know what? I like the play. I thought it was sweet. And Carlo was great. Carlo's a great actor, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. I am happy that somebody in this family understands symbolism. That is not the point, Brenda. That's not the point, Brenda. Well, then what is the fucking point, Ma? What is with this family and cursing? Oh, Connie, get the fuck over The me. point is, you're a loser, Carlo Pedente. No fun, so. You know what? You're an asshole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get what I say? Get that. Look, your son is an asshole. My son is a loser. These are our children. 
Look what you have done. All right. You know what? Let's eat. We'll enjoy our dinner. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my dog. You know what? It's a nice Christmas. I love it. Hello. Happy birthday, dear Farrah. What time is it? Are you still asleep? Oh. Oh. I have had the worst two days. Well, at least this one's half over. It's, it's past noon. Well, I tell you what. Call me when it's entirely over. No, we are not having this today. You're going out for your birthday because there are a whole bunch of people meeting us and we'll hop at 2 o'clock. I'll pick you up in an hour. Gives you plenty of time to shower, shave, and FDS yourself into a stupor. <laughs> Great. Good morning, Angels. Good morning, Carlo. What do you mean you lost your job? That's funny. That's exactly what my mother said. Thank you very much. Okay, let me try something else. Take two. Great, you lost your job. Take three. Oh, I'm so sorry you lost your job. Will you take two? You wanna know what else I lost? I lost my apartment. Oh my god, what? Yeah, wait, I'll take two. Okay, you know what? Let's not talk about this anymore. Let's just eat. It's my birthday. I'm at my favorite Chinese restaurant. I'm eating my favorite spare ribs. I want to eat. I love these spare ribs. But they haven't cleaned this place since 1964. Mm, I don't care. These spare ribs are absolutely delicious. Sorry, no one else showed up. You know what? I don't care. At this point, my life could not get any worse. It says here in WebMD that the morning sickness should end up the first trimester. So. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Those ribs were delicious. I have another surprise, too. Yeah, what's that? Are we going to get mugged now? Even better. A friend of mine is in town from LA, and he's friends with Kiki <laughs> Lawrence, and he put aside two tickets for us for her show for tonight. Is that real? Yeah. That's, uh, that's great. I know. That's exciting. I know. And she's from your favorite TV sitcom, so. Angie's my favorite TV sitcom. Oh. Rhoda's my second favorite TV sitcom. Mama Jules is my third favorite sitcom. Close. And there's more. Are you going to tell me what it is? Yeah. Are you going to tell me today? Yes. My friend is in town. He's gonna be there. Okay. And he's gonna get us backstage for a personal meet and greet with Kiki. Come on! I can't believe you did this for me. Thank you so much. This is a great gift. You're my best friend. I love you. I love you too. Happy birthday, darling. Oh.
Oh my God. Oh my God, you're, you're white. You're, you're Conan O'Brien white. You're Anderson Cooper. You're Michael Jackson white. I didn't miss the second act, did I? No, you just missed the whole show. Here. Oh, come on, at least we can meet Kiki Lawrence. No. Huh? Why no. not? No, I am not going backstage to meet Kiki Lawrence like this. I mean, look at me. I smell like vomit. Oh, Chinese don't, vomit. No, don't be silly. Come on. Oh, what am I supposed to say to her if she asked me what I thought of her performance? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't see any of it. I was on the bathroom floor puking. You don't time. have to say anything. I'll do all the talking. No. Oh. How was the show anyway? It was all right. Really? Oh my God, are you kidding? It was amazing. Kiki Lawrence was fantastic. I can't believe you missed the entire show. so much for the tickets. My pleasure, I'm happy to help. James, this is my East Coast best friend, Carlo. Carlo, this is my West Coast best friend, James. <laughs> so you must be the birthday boy. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Um, well, I am. Um... Oh. 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 Well, ew. Oh, I am. Um... Uh, um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Kiki Lawrence. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am s I am so sorry. Oh no, it's all right. Oh. People faint all the time when they meet me. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Do you need anything? No, 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 Do you no. need to call anyone? No, no, no. I, I'm fine, Mrs. Lawrence. I'm fine. Are I, you I sure? prom yes, I promise. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> I need to get the fuck out of here. Oh. This place makes me sick. What a shithole. And the audience tonight. Fucking dead people. And I am starving. I'm starving. I could eat. Great. I feel like Chinese. Let's get some takeout and head over to my apartment. You've been very quiet tonight. You haven't even told me what you thought of my performance. Oh, um... <laughs> it was amazing. You were amazing. <laughs> I, I, I'm just a little distracted. I'm sorry. I, I've just had the worst couple of days. Why? What happened? You do not want to know the drama. That is my horrible life lately. I would love to hear how horrible your life is. Okay. Well, I got fired from my job. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What do you do? He works for a sex chat line. Weezy, shut up! Hey, do you really think I would have called you out if I didn't think she was cool? She's cool! Oh yeah, I'm very cool. Sex chat line. That's nothing. I worked with Dick Van Dyke. Oh, he was a big dick. Mm. Well, it was a survival job because I'm an actor. And that hasn't been going so well lately. In fact, my career has sort of been going down the shitter. And my mother, who is a big fat pain in the ass, is constantly trying to get me to quit. And she wants me to go back to school and become a lawyer or something like my cousin Mikey Bagarella. Well, let's see what else. Oh. My rent just went up. I lost my New York rent-controlled apartment. It went up $3,000. It went up to $3,800 a month. And I cannot afford that, and so I'm gonna have to move. And I'm gonna have to move quickly. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, my boyfriend. My boyfriend has completely disappeared, has completely gone AWOL. I have no idea where he is. He won't even return my phone calls now anymore. Oh, and here's a good one. My best friend Wheezy here took me out this afternoon for my birthday. Today is my birthday. I am 40 years old. You said you were 39. Today is my 39th birthday, and I was taking a piss this morning, and I found my first gray hair on my crotch. And my best friend here, Wheezy, takes me out to my favorite Chinese restaurant to celebrate my happy birthday, where I got food poisoning, and I spent the entirety of your show sick, in the bathroom, on the floor, puking, and I missed the entire thing, and I am just so... Sorry. Wheezy? Why don't I have a drink? 
I need a drink. Pop that champagne, dear. Popping. Thank you. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Can you work a computer? Yeah. Can you answer the phone? Yes. Without sounding so sexy? Yeah. Can you drive a car? Sort of. Well, that's great, honey. You need a job, and I need a new personal assistant. My old one is in jail or something. I don't know. It's a long story. The play is over soon, and I'm headed back to L.A., and so are you. What? I'm going back to L.A., and so are you, yourself. You will just love L.A. Oh, James! James can help you get situated. James, you have an extra bedroom, right? Carlo can stay with you. Carlo, you can stay with James. But, but, but. I don't want to hear any more about it. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> and my husband is just going to love you. <laughs> Raise your glasses. Here's to the new year, new opportunities, and a new life. Cheers. Los Angeles? Have you lost your Mom, mind? Mom, Mom, I, I'm moving to Los Angeles. What are you going to do in Los Angeles? Mom, this is good news. Shut up. I want to talk to him. Why is this good news? I got a job, Ma. I am going to be working with Kiki Lawrence. Kiki Lawrence? Yeah, Ma. Kiki Lawrence. You remember, huh? The old lady from Mom's jewelry. <laughs> yeah, her. I mean, yes, she wasn't she wasn't old, but she was young and she was wearing makeup. But yes, but yes, her, Ma, 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 I'm gonna be her personal assistant. You're gonna be a personal assistant to Kiki Lawrence? Yeah. What the hell is a personal assistant? What do you do? You do her lines? What you get to go to all those celebrity parties? Yeah, Ma. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Albert! Come in here! Oh! Guess what? Our son is gonna be a personal assistant to a TV star. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Adrian Barbeau, the big toss. Well, you can be such an idiot sometimes. No, he's going to be a personal assistant to Kiki Lawrence. Oh, yeah, that's great. Who the fuck is Kiki Lawrence? Oh, really, Dad? She was the old lady on Mama's Jew. She Jews. wasn't old, Ma. Yeah. She played one hell of an old lady. Listen, Ma, I'm leaving on Monday. Monday? Yeah. It's three days from now. I know. Oh. All right, well, uh, we're going to have to put together a big, a big family goodbye dinner. Yeah, you know what? I'll just, I'll call Connie. I'll tell her to move Alfonso's birthday party to Sunday. Ma, 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 not this time. What? Please. No family dinner? No. Please, no, ma, please. All right, so what? Yeah, okay. All right, you, uh, you talk to your father, then you, you come in here and you talk to me. Hey. Son, proud of you. Thanks, Mom. If you need me, just scream. So, boy, California. Yeah. It's very far away. I know. At least pretty scary. Mom, I grew up in the Bronx. Yeah, but it's different out there. You don't see it coming. You. Uh, gonna miss you too, Ma. Right here. Uh, no. No, Ma, no, 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 Ma. No, please. I'm not gonna take your money this time, okay? Look, I wanna do this on my own by myself, finally, okay? I am gonna make it. After all. All right. All right, well, then you'll be sure you call me every day or I'll kill you. Okay, Ma. And you be careful. And just trust some people. And don't fuck this up. <laughs> you know, I'm proud of you, Carl. Thanks, Ma. You know I love you. Come here. I love you too, Ma. All right. Hi, my name is Carlo Perdente. I was born in the Bronx, New York in December 1974. I always felt responsible for Gerald Ford. 
The first thing I remember liking that liked me back was Juan, this Puerto Rican kid from up the street. I had a bad puberty. It ended last Thursday. I went to the High School of Performing Arts. For my entrance exam, I sang like a virgin. I decided to move out of the house when I was 24. My mother still refers to this as the happiest day of her entire life. Eventually, I went to Manhattan, which is full of cold bitches. Now I'm moving to Los Angeles. New York, you can go fuck yourself. For that, I'm not like rich and what. Hi, Kiki. Oh, Carlo, honey, listen. I'm getting my nails done, and this bitch won't take a credit card, and I am totally out of cash. So I need you to go to the bank, pick up some cash, and get over here as quickly as you can. Yes, I, I, I can do that. Darling, you're a lifesaver. Ow! Oh, god damn it, Maylin. You're hurting me, Jesus Christ. Knock it off. I am quite sure that this bitch was a prison guard for the Viet Cong. Anyway, where was I? You were saying how much of a lifesaver I am? Darling, you are, you are, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Well, how come some tickets 40 percent? Especially if I have to touch dirty hands like you. Oh, you smell like cheese. Oh my God. Oh my god, 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 are you okay? Are you alright? Oh, relax, it's just a tiny scratch, I'm not even going to support it. Okay, look, I know that I'm the one that hit you, but you really should not be driving around this fucked up. Excuse me? But I was this fucked up when I went to the DMV and they had no problem with it. What? <laughs> just kidding, I have to grab a policy. No, really, I'm okay. No, I really am fine. But are you okay? My God, you're, you're shaking more than I am. No, no, I am not okay. I have never had a car accident in my entire life. I, I've only been driving for about two months, but I have not had a car accident in those entire two months. I just got out here from New York City. I work as a personal assistant. Really? To who? Um, the actress Kiki Lawrence. Shit. No wonder you're nervous, Beck. I'm surprised you haven't split your throat. Or oh, hers. Oh, you know her? Oh my god, of course you know her. You're Jerry Jewel. Good you memory. did an episode of The Facts of Life with Kiki Lawrence. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, that's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, but I, I gotta tell you, it was no picnic. Hey, uh, what's your name anyway? Oh, sorry, I, I'm Carlo Perdente. Like you oh, so nice to meet you, Jerry Jewel. <laughs> My roommate is going to be so impressed when I tell him that I hit Jerry Jewel's car. Impressed by assault and battery? Who's your roommate? Chris Brown? Hey, where, where do you live? I'm in West Hollywood. Oh, I don't live far. Let's change information and do lunch one day. Oh my god, I would love that lunch with Jerry Jewel. Calm down. Okay, all right. <laughs> Ran out of business cards. <gasps> call me. Thank you. I call you. Yes, I will call you. You you don't know how excited I am to have met you. Yeah, I think I do. I think I was that excited when I met David Cassidy. <laughs> well, bye. Why is it every time I meet somebody I like, I took you slowly? He gave me a com one little compliment. I literally said, like me. You really like me. I blurted it out, and it wasn't a joke. I was completely serious, and he knew it, and I saw it. His face fell. It, it literally fell off his body. And then he mumbled something, and he left. And I'll never hear from him again. I'm such a schmuck. What's the matter with you? I had a car accident. Oh, your first car accident in L.A. Sweet. Oh, oh, are you all right? You know, people don't know how to drive in the rain here. I am totally fine. I swear to God, it could not have worked out any better. 
How's the car? Is it still alive? The car is still alive. I am fine. Everybody's fine. I literally was driving down the street and Kiki called me, which I should not have picked up the phone because she totally makes me crazy, but I stupidly did pick up the phone. I, I, I took my eyes off the road for a second and then BAM! I hit somebody. I knew it was not a good idea you being her personal assistant. I knew you wouldn't be able to handle her. Who'd you hit with a name? No, that's the best part. Guess who I hit? Was he in porn? No, he was not in porn. I hit Jerry Jewel. Oh, well, he's not in porn shit. Jerry Jewel. Oh, is that like a Prince Albert? Jerry Jewel. Jerry Jewel from the fucking facts of life, you idiot. Uh, that is so tragic. I think it's hysterical. Thank you. I think it is hysterical, too, and she could not have been cooler. She gave me a copy of her book. She signed it. She gave me her phone number. I'm going to call her. We're going to have lunch next week. I am totally going to get her to tell me disgusting stories about Gary Coleman. Do you think she has a game for You're pathetic. Oh, shut up! Lunch is ready! I'm starving. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta die. And you're a terrible cook. It's just a salad! Did you take your pill today? Uh, you know what? I have a class to teach later. I gotta prepare. You teach a class? Yeah. Yeah, for two years. I've been teaching this class. Yeah. I help, um, you know, lazy mothers relate to their filthy children. James, you teach a ceramics class. They think it's a ceramics class. Hi, Kiki. Carlo, honey. Listen, I need you to go over to my gym. I left my bag there and spent all my stuff in here. All right, I just sat down to, to eat. I just need to... Carlo, my trainer's waiting for you. His name is Joe. I just sat down to eat lunch, so I just need to, like... Maybe you know we got three minutes. You need to get over there right away. Kiki, I just need about 30 minutes... Now! What the fuck am I paying you for? All right, Kiki. Fine. Fine. Thank you, darling. You're a lifesaver. Baby, I'm your lifesaver. This <laughs> with her. I have been working for her for two months now, and I swear to God, I am going to get a stroke. I can literally feel the blood in my head boiling right well, now. Well, what does she want now? Uh, she left all of her crap at the gym. I don't know. She needs me to go pick it up. Her, her trainer is waiting for me or something. I is she hot? I, I don't know, Bernie. Drive safe. Yeah, thanks. More sound for me. I'm looking for a trainer named Joe. He works here. Joe. Uh-huh. You're looking for Joe. <laughs> yeah. Joe is inside, waxing his back. Joe! You got a client! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Um, I I'm uh, I'm Kiki's assistant. She said that you would be expecting me. Yeah, actually, she left her bag. I got a free. Oh, here. oh, thank you. Oh. This is her gym bag? Bag. Wow. Oh, thank you. Of course. Thanks. Hey, what's your name? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Carlo. I'm Joe. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Joe. Um, How long have you been working with her? Like, two months now. She's a nightmare, right? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you up. Oh. She comes here a lot. Um, don't know why, though. She never actually works out. She just, um pays me a whole bunch of money and yells at people on the phone while flirting with me. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's me that she's yelling at. <laughs> huh? How'd you get that job? It's a long, it's kind of a long story. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I met her in New York, actually. And she offered me the job and I, I kind of jumped at it. I, you know, I think I just needed a change. I just got here from Chicago a year ago myself. I love Chicago. <laughs> Why'd you come here? Um, bad breakup. Needed the change, you know? Um, anyway, I really gotta go, <laughs> but thank um, you. Well, uh, it was really good to meet you, Carl. Really good to meet you, Joe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Hey, Carlo. Yeah, I'm sorry, did I forget something? No, not at all. Uh, listen, uh, I want to ask you something. Okay. Uh, I want to know if you want to go on a date with me. I'm sorry, I'm, so I'm sorry, what? A date, uh, dinner, cocktails, go out. Wait, is it a joke? No, no joke. What? Why? Because I want to. I mean, you're a good looking guy, you're funny, you're a New Yorker. You're not like these California queens that make dating just so damn difficult. Besides, you got a sexy name. Got a 
What's your last name, Carlo? Perdente. So, Carlo Perdente, I want to ask you one more time. You want to go out with me? Yeah. How about tonight? About oh. Okay. About 8 o'clock? Right. Okay. I'll get dressed nice for you. I'll see you then. <laughs> Hi! Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you look fantastic. Shut up. <laughs> you look beautiful. Uh, I'm all right. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, where are we going to go? Just a few of my favorite places. Come on, let's all get right. out of here. Come on, My favorite place. It's the only Puerto Rican restaurant in all of LA. This is delicious. Now, what is it exactly that I'm eating? It's mondongo. I know you keep saying that, but what does that mean? Do you really want to know? I really want to know. Yes. It's a uh, it's cow stomach. Really? Yep. Cow stomach. Mm. All right. Wow. It's well, good, I'm telling you, see? What, did you think I was just like gonna run away like a little girl? I am adventurous. Oh, well, you know, my mother used to make it all the time when we were little kids. She used to try and make me eat it like crazy. Mm. It's not bad, you get used to it. It is delicious. <laughs> is your mom still in Chicago? No, actually. She passed away when I was a teenager back in PR. Same thing with my dad. Um, I moved to Chicago and I've been there ever since. Do you have a picture? Um, yeah, I do, of course. Your mom's really beautiful. Yes. Do you think about them a lot? Yeah, all the time. I miss them. Especially my mom. She was a very nice, very caring woman. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Nope. It's just me all alone in this little world. What about you? Um, <clears throat> I have a sister. Mm -hmm. Her name is Brenda. Um, she's great. I love her. Um, she's sort of a castrating bitch. <laughs> um, and she totally emasculates her poor husband, which is exactly the same thing that my mother has done to my father. But, um, You're so cute. Shut up. My sempre está por vir. I like to come here when I need to get away, be alone, or when I feel kind of lonely. <laughs> <laughs> That too. So, why are you lonely? I don't get it. Because people don't really tell you what they want. They'll come at you saying that they want something serious, a relationship. In all reality, all they want to do is fuck around. They act like cuddling afterwards is just sin or a death sentence. It's my favorite part. I yeah. like to cuddle. Well. I'm only two, you know, I don't really know anybody here. And I mostly just hang out with my friend Bernie. <laughs> so we're two lonely people, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So guess what? what? You're, you're not gonna believe me. <laughs> okay. I totally wanna eat again. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, now I wanna take you to one of my favorite places. Alright, okay. <laughs> I think that was the best date that I have ever had. In fact, you know what? I know that that was the best date that I have ever had. So I can see you again. When do you want to see me again? What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Seeing you again? Today?
are you? I'm Carlo, Kiki's new assistant. Oh, I've heard about you. Oh, who are you? I'm the husband. I've heard about you. What have you heard? Oh, shit! Good, Good luck, man. Son of a bitch, motherfucker! What happened? That low-life piece of dog shit! Who? My husband! Who? What did he do? That cocksucker. One of the biggest fucking agents in Hollywood! Oh, and that's the only reason I married him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he has a brand new TV show with a part an actress would die for. Who does he give it to? Fucking Sally Struthers! God, Sally fucking, fucking, fucking Struthers. <laughs> Sally fucking Struthers! I mean, where the hell has she been all these years? I'll tell you where I've been. I've been out in this shitty country going from shithole to shithole theater, playing to white trash audiences, saying the same old fucking jokes. Oh, up to the point I was ready to slit my throat. Yes, and why did I do it? I did it for him. <laughs> and how does he repay me? By giving the part of a lifetime to Sally fucking Struthers. <laughs> Sally fucking Struthers? That was my fucking part! Damn it to hell! <laughs> How could they do this to me? <sighs> what am I going to do? Kiki, you will be fine. Oh, Carlo. I broke. And no one wants me anymore. My husband has sucked every dick in Hollywood. And he hasn't touched me in years. I'm lonely. And I've become hard. And people think I'm difficult. But it wasn't always like that. Oh, I used to be fun, full of life. I was young. I was beautiful. Somewhere along the way, I became hard. And no one likes me anymore. <laughs> I like you. No, you don't. No, I, I, I do. Look, <sighs> I, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're a hard woman to work for, and honestly, I, I, sometimes I get knots in my stomach when I, when I think about coming to work, but... You are funny, and, and gregarious, and interesting, and I love your stories, and, 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 and you light up a room when you come in. No, it's true, Kiki. I, I, I promise you. And, and you know what? And you're a great actress. You're really talented. You really think so? I do. Kiki, look, I know, I know that right now it's hard to see, but I promise you things are going to get better. Things are going to change and, and everything will work out great. Look at yourself. You are a TV star. You have the kind of success that I could only dream of. That's true. I am a goddamn TV star. And I've got a People's Choice Award to prove it. I'll be fine. Now, where is Milagros to clean up this shit? So, the last time I spoke with him, it was Christmas Eve, and I haven't spoken to him since, so that was sort of that. Now you. Now you tell me about your last relationship. He's an Italian model, very difficult, very selfish, all about him. However, don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm sorry. It's all good. I just can't believe that I'm here with you. Why not? I want to be. Why? What do you mean? I mean, seriously, why, why would you want to be here with me? Listen, Carlo, if 
If we're going to be together, you really need to get over this whole insecurity issue that you have and realize that you're far more valuable than you give yourself credit for. What do you mean, be together? Um, be together, like a couple. Oh, come on, stop it. Stop what? Stop. You know, if this is a joke, then this is not funny and you can go fuck yourself. Are you crazy? No, Joe, I'm not crazy. You know what I am? I am 40 years old and I am not stupid, okay? So, you know what, let's just forget this. Just, just take me home, okay, please? Wait, Carlo. Carlo, wait. I don't play like that. I wouldn't play you like that. I mean, you're everything I've ever wanted, all rolled into one. I spend all day thinking about you, holding your hand, kissing you. Look, I spent all day thinking about you today. So then what's the problem? Okay, there's no problem then. <laughs> you're too much. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> Night. It was wonderful. Thank you. It truly was wonderful. What are you doing tonight? Seeing you. So how about I'll call you a little bit later? you've been working for my lovely wife? Um, it's been about four months now. Yeah, that's some kind of record. You haven't tried to kill yourself. <laughs> I've thought about it. Oh, most of her assistants quit. Some just disappear under mysterious circumstances. Others try to sue. Has she been physically violent yet? What? Has she hit you? No, of course not. Mm, interesting. She must actually like you. You know, there was one woman, very nice young lady, uh, Kiki took her to Las Vegas, to the uh, Hilton, dangled her over the balcony of the Elvis suite, and would not pull her back in until that young woman had released her ballet. Oh, my God. All over the ballet, Parker. Ugh. <laughs> True. Now, level with me. Why are you with her? I needed a job. Well, you know, it's not going to last. I mean, she's going to eat you up and spit you out like she does everybody else. I mean, she's going to then pretend it was your fault and make you believe it because that's who she is. She is vicious and backbiting. She's bitter and she hates everybody. Okay. But don't worry about it. Because you're an actor. Right? Yes. <laughs> I thought so. Would you like to be on a soap? Yeah, I, I would love to be on the soap, my God. <laughs> All right. I'll have my assistant draw up a contract. Thank you so much. Now, take off your pants. I I'm sorry, what? Take off your pants. You're kidding, right? What's the big deal? I just want to suck your dick. Larry. Larry, you're my boss's husband. Well, now I'm also your agent. So take off your pants. Um, Larry. You're making me very uncomfortable. Don't be such a prude. You know, I have a very jealous boyfriend. Friend. Is he hot? Um, well, yeah, actually, Ooh, he is, but big oh, Italian oh, sausage. Oh, that's totally disgusting. He's such a pain. 
pig. Oh, relax. You think you're the first client I've given a blowjob to? Look at my credenza. Gary Coleman? Mm. How do you think anybody gets a job in this town? Betty White. <laughs> now take off your pants. Oh, no. Kind of looks like Donny Osmond. I would totally take off my pants if he was in my office. Gary! Again? Hello, Nickel. Don't you ever knock. What the fuck? How many times do we have to talk about this? No harm, no foul. You? Let's go. I'll work on that contract. How did Larry find you? I'm Kiki's assistant. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, um, do you still want us to represent you? Because we will. It's the least I can do. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Thank you. Okay, and don't worry about Larry. Um, I'm his boss, you know. I started this company and he'll do anything that I tell him to do. He's a great agent, but um, you're not exactly the first guy that he's tried to rape in his office. Oh, believe me, I'm sure. I, I saw the credenza. You're not going to try to sue us, are you? Oh, no, 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 of course not. Good, fantastic. Because, <laughs> you know, if we were, I'd, I'd totally have to fuck up your life. I'm glad I wasn't there. I probably would have kept his ass. He was such a creep. It's okay, oh, baby. He, he so, sounds like It was a just creep. so upsetting. God, I just, I just, all I wanted to do was talk to you. God, Joe, I love you so much. It was just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean um, to say that. I'm, that it came out, Carlo, I blurted out. Oh, my God, I'm so, Carlo, it's okay. I love you, too. I've been wanting to say it for a while. I just didn't want to be the first to say it. Really? That's really silly, right? No, no, I, Joe, God, I have been wanting to tell you for weeks. It has been absolute torture for me holding that in. God, Joe, I, I love you, Joe. I, I've, I've loved you practically since the first moment I met you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm, so, I'm so relieved. <laughs> God, I want to, I, I just want to, I don't know, go out and celebrate or something. We should, we should throw a party or something. <laughs> All right, let's throw a party. I'll, um... I'll make dinner at your house, and uh, you can invite Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> really? Yeah, let's do it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, let's throw a party. Um, I'll invite Jerry. It'll be fun. Call her up. Okay. <sighs> hey, if, uh, if you're going to be uh, cooking and throwing a party at my house, you're going to need something. You're going to need this. You know what? Why don't you make yourself a copy? I'll do that. I love you, Joe. I love you, too. Mm, you're gonna have to get used to me saying that. A lot. I'm right with that. <laughs> don't you have to go to work? I have to go to work. Oh, God, I so don't want to. I'm so not in the mood. It's all right. Just uh, give me a call when you're on your way, and I'll make sure to have everything ready. Okay. All right? Good idea. <laughs> And Connie, what's up? Uh, is, is something wrong? Is something wrong with my mother? What's the matter? She's fine. Okay, well listen, I actually, I actually shouldn't be talking right now. I'm actually driving the car. Can I call you back later? Why did I call you? Uh... Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Listen, sweetheart, I'm sorry I haven't talked to you in such a long time. You know, Vito's brother Angelo and that diabetes, you heard, he lost two toes. And Connie, that's really too bad, but I, I, look, I don't even know the guy, and I really, I'm driving, I really should just get off the phone. Don't be fresh with Aunt Connie, Carlo. I just don't want to get into another accident. What do you mean, another accident? Because I wasn't paying attention, I was distracted. Why weren't you paying attention? I was distracted because I was on the phone, Aunt Connie. Were you hurt? No, no, I was not hurt. Uh, uh, did you go to the hospital? No, no, I did not go to the hospital, Aunt Connie, please. Why didn't your mother say anything to me? I didn't tell her. And, and please, please do not tell her, because if my mother finds out about it, she will lose her mind. Ma! Tell him already! <laughs> Carlo, dear, I've got some wonderful news. Your cousin Alfonso and I have heard nothing from your mother except what a wonderful life you're having in California. So, of course, Alfonso is jealous. Stop. He wants to move Stop. out with you. Stop. Give me the phone. Shut up and give me the phone. Just don't shut up to your mother. Fudge Packer. Fudge Packer. 
I'm moving to LA and I'm gonna stay with you till I find my own situation. So listen, I don't think this is a really good idea. Oh, give me the phone. I am so flush the toilet for crying out loud. Oh shit. Carla. Carla. Hello. Oh shit. Hiya, Ma. Wait. You have a daughter? Yes. This is Bonita Lawrence. I spawn. Mm -hmm. She never mentioned me, I guess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your name is Bonita? And what's, what's wrong, wrong with Bonita? Bonita? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just that, you know, I'm from the Bronx. I've never heard the name Bonita. It's nice to know you're still a bitch, Mom. But who are you? This is my assistant, Carlo. Oh, my condolences. You know, she had me out of the spotlight all my life because she was ashamed of me. Because you are a drunk, Bonita. What are you doing here anyway? Did you escape again from the rehab? No, you old hag. I finished. I am 28 days sober. Well, hurrah for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, hello, gorgeous. Father-daughter reunion. How sickening. <laughs> I'm going to make another drink. You are not staying here. How do you stand her? I'm not around much. In fact, I gotta go. What? Well, it's a very, very busy week for me. We'll grab something no. later. Oh now, uh, you call me tomorrow and we'll plan something. We'll have lunch, maybe breakfast. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. yeah. That went well. What's your name again? Carlo. Carlo. What are you doing tonight, Carlo? I'm having dinner with friends. Oh, great. I'll join you. Come on, sweetie. No. That was, uh, that was an amazing joke. <laughs> You're a brilliant chef. Thank you. Isn't he amazing? Yeah, he's wonderful. Such an amazing chef. And gorgeous. Oh, you stop. Know, there is nothing I don't like about this guy. Yep, Carlo, you got yourself one hot, gorgeous guy here. Bonita! Oh, uh, help me clean up. Huh? Oh, all right. Whatever, I guess. Let me help. No! You know, she did banana to her mother. I like her. I don't trust her. Never have. She's been a pain in the ass for years. You know what? I hate to agree with James, but I do. I have known her for exactly two hours, and I just don't trust her. I mean, there's something wrong with her. There's something really weird about her. I mean, I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Come to think of it, I can't throw her very far. You guys are ridiculous. I think she's fantastic. I really like her. You can't blame that one on me. I don't want to be washing dishes. <clears throat> I want to be out here while the fun is. So, what are we gonna do now? Um, Let's go out. No, no, no. I actually have to be at work very early tomorrow morning at your mother's house, so I think we should just call it a night. Well, shit, I'm still wide awake. You know, you people are no fun at all. Oh, fuck, I don't even have a car. All right, fine, I guess I need a ride back to my stupid parents' house. Um, I thought Kiki said that you couldn't stay at her house. Who cares what she said? She's gonna be passed out drunk anyway. So why did we know it? So, will you drive me? Yeah, sure, I'll take you. Well, alrighty then. It was nice meeting you all. Tell the Jew it was nice to meet him. See ya. Just be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Bye. I love you. Love you too. This leaves a key back here for the gardener somewhere. Ah, fuck. Oh. <laughs> it was already open. She was probably too drunk to even notice. Uh huh. Want to come in? Actually, I like it going. It's, you know, getting late and all. Come on. Don't you want to see Kiki Lawrence's house? Actually, no, I kind of, I kind of do. <laughs> well, here it is. The house that Mama's Jewels built. It's nice. It's a piece of shit.
They could have done so much better. She drank half her money away. And then my father gave his to every rent boy he could find. That's too bad. You know what? Hmm. I want a drink. I thought you were sober these days. Oh, fuck it. A little drink will not hurt me. It's the meth I gotta stay away from. That shit will fuck you up. Oh my god, have you heard about these bath salts? Whoa, that is some crazy shit. You just watch. They'll be doing it here soon. Mm -hmm. And there'll be another fucking crazy Manson family. But this time, they'll make it to a reality show and it'll be a big hit on E. And watch, my father will probably end up representing the killers. Maybe we shouldn't drink. Don't be a pussy. Cheers. Bonita. What? I'm gay. Ugh. <laughs> That's a fucking shame. <laughs> and I have a boyfriend. Why are you with that guy? Carlos? Yeah, my mother's assistant. Oh. You could do so much better. Because I love him. <laughs> really? Seriously? Seriously. Oh, pfft. All right, how long have y'all been together? A whole two months. That's, that's, that is a lot in eight years. You okay? don't even know him. I know that I love him. <laughs> you know what? Let's what? go fuck in my mother's bed. That way I won't see No. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Women are great. You'll love it. Come on. And that shit they say about gay guys giving better blowjobs, that's total bullshit. You know that. It is. Thanks, but no. Mmm. No one's ever gonna love me. Someone will love you. I mean, you're great. Look at you. Awesome. I'm shit. <laughs> I like shit. <laughs> I got nothing. I got no job, no boyfriend, no money. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the worst part? Huh. I am just like my fucking mother. Ooh. I don't feel so good. I gotta go to bed. Help me inside. That's, oh that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you to get your ass over here right now and get your fucking boyfriend out of my fucking daughter's bed. Joe, Joe, sweetie, you gotta wake up. Joe, come on, you gotta wake up. Joe, sweetie, yeah, no, Joe, come on, wake up. Wake up, Joe. Joe, Joe, wake up! Come on! Holy shit! You oh, shut up, I'll deal with you later. You two, get the fuck out! Joe, have you lost your fucking mind? Relax. Don't tell me to relax. I just lost my job. It'll be fine. Yeah? Did I not tell you that that woman was trouble? I'm sorry. You're sorry? Did you fuck her? No, I didn't fuck her. Have you lost your mind? No, I haven't. What am I supposed to do now, Joe? 
You hated working for Kiki anyway! Yeah, I hated her, that's right. She's a horrible fucking woman. But I uprooted my entire New York City life to come out here and work for her. And you know what? And now I have no job, and I have no friends, and I, I, I hate everybody and everything about this place, Joe! I have nothing! You have me! Yeah, well, obviously I can't trust you. You know what, Carlo? You are a spoiled, ungrateful brat. I've done nothing but love you, and thus far you have been the worst thing that's happened to my life. You're absolutely right. You have nothing. You don't have me. Go fuck yourself. You know what? Joe's right. You are an ungrateful, spoiled fucking brat. Jerry, what am I gonna do? Everybody is angry at me. Kiki is angry at me. Joe is angry at me. And Bernie, Bernie, you should have seen his face. It was like I stabbed him or something. Okay, you're just gonna have to apologize to oh, everyone. My God. Look, Joe loves you, doesn't he? Yes, of course. And Bernie's your best friend, right? Yes, he is. Okay, they'll accept your apology. Why don't you give Larry a call? Larry knows how to deal with it. Oh, God, he gives me the creeps, Jerry. But you're probably right. He's probably the only person who knows what to do with her. I can't believe she's my daughter. I cannot believe that a one-night stand with Kiki produced that. Larry, look, I just, just tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what. I was going to tell her tonight, but I'll let you do it. It's a surprise. I got TV Land to give her and Suzanne Summers a Lifetime Achievement Award. That's great, I guess. Oh, I'll go tell her right now. Larry, thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm great. Now, can I lick your balls? Congratulations, Kiki. Oh, Carlo, we've got to call Jose. He has to make me a fabulous dress. So that means that everything is sort of okay between us? Oh, honey, I can never do anything without you. <laughs> You're a lifesaver. Oh, that's so good, Kiki, because I was really worried uh, about... Carlo. Jose. Oh, right, 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 right. On right. the phone. Okay. Chopped up! Okay, Jose. <laughs> okay. Wait. Why am I sharing the award with that cow, Suzanne Summers? Carlo! Look, Joe, I just need to apologize to you, okay? I, everything that I said today was absolutely ridiculous and wrong. I am totally happy that I moved to Los Angeles. I am more than happy that I met you. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And everything that you said today was absolutely right. You have done nothing but love me and, and be wonderful to me. And I am just a spoiled... Brat, and I'm sorry, Joe. Come in, sit down. Okay, <clears throat> you're absolutely right. I should not have been going with her into the house. I should definitely not have been drinking, and it is totally my fault that you lost your job. Joe, and I got my job back. Well, th that's great. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, about what I said before, I'm sorry. You are not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. In fact, you're the best. I've never had a connection with somebody like this before. I've never felt such love for somebody before. Or, for that matter, have somebody treat me like I'm a real person. I know you trusted me, and I totally blew it. And the only thing I can do is promise to not let it happen again. Joe, look, I totally trust you, okay? I'm an idiot. My God, please, just forget everything that I said, okay? Can we just, can we just forget that last night ever even happened? See, I think about you all the time, and I want to be with you all the time. I want your face to be the first thing that I see in the morning and the last before I go to sleep at night. I want to have breakfast. I want to have lunch, dinner. I want to do everything with you. So I was kind of wondering... Would you marry me? Really? Yeah, really. I've never had anyone ask me to marry them before. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you sure about this, Joe? Totally. Yeah, of course I'll marry you. Good. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I love you, Joe. I love you too. Mm. 
So when do you want to move in? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, wow, I didn't even think about that. We get to live together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, if, if I'm going to move in here, we have to redecorate this whole place. What's wrong with my place? <laughs> oh my god, I have to talk to Bernie. Joe called. He told me everything. He did? He called me too, and I came right over. Congratulations, you lucky son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, congratulations, Carlo. Your, your news is really quite unbelievable. Bernie, Bernie, I owe you a huge apology. Please, please forgive me. I was out of my mind. I was having a horrible moment. I love you. I love all of you guys. You're my best friends. I love you guys. Aw, thank you. I have some bad news, actually. What? I'm moving out. I'm gonna move in with Joe. Oh my god! I hadn't even thought about that! Well then let's celebrate! I'll pop some champagne! When? When are you moving? Well, we were thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh my god! I'll help you pack! Oh come on, it's not like he's moving to New York. He'll still be here in LA. Joe! This is a party. I brought the cake. A toast to new love. A toast to new marriage. A toast to a new roommate. A toast to a new life. To a new life. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe you're getting married. That I it's know, actually happening. I know. Oh, I'm so jealous. Joe is so hot. He is hot. Bernie, it'll happen for you one day, I promise, and then you will be as nauseous as I am right now. Oh, my cousin Rachel is so excited that she's performing for the ceremony. Ooh, I hope she brings her uh, girlfriend, Mavis. She's a seven foot four, deaf, uh, transsexual, ex football player. Wow, well, that's very progressive of her. Yeah. Are you guys talking about me? Oh, uh, God. I feel so excluded. You guys never share anything with me. Oh. 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 Come on, you're getting married for fuck's sake. Let me do something for you today. I really want to do something to help. Okay. You know what? You actually can do something. Why don't you pick me up and take me to my wedding? That way I can give my car to my parents. Of course I will. And I don't mind the inconvenience at all. Great. Um, I have to leave here no later than four o'clock. Perfect. I'm teaching a class this afternoon. I'll come here right after. Thank you. Yay! Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, gotta go. Mm. No! Oh. No! Oh, God. Okay. Oh. He's such an asshole. Oh my God, I think I just saw it. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. It's so good to see you, Weezy. Too far, I missed you. Oh, I miss you too. New York is just not the same without you. <laughs> Come in. Put your stuff down. Relax. Nice place. Uh, wait until you see the backyard and the pool. You are going to love him. I mean, if you don't love him, I'm still going to marry him. But I really want you to love him. And, and I know he's going to love you, too. I'm going to love him. Oh, I can't wait for you to meet him. It's going to be so weird, you know? What? We'll never be two single gay best friends, you know, just hanging out, telling each other our little secrets. Who we slept with. You're always gonna be my best friend, though. I know. Hey, I gotta go. It's getting late. I gotta get in the shower. Cause I'm getting married. That's crazy! I know. Speaking of crazy, Kiki Lawrence is gonna be there. I can't wait to see her again. Mm -hmm. This is James Hunter. Leave me a message. And don't be boring. James, where are you? It's Carlo. You are 20 minutes late. Will you... Will you just get here as soon as you possibly can, please? Or just, or, or, or call me or something and let me know what's happening? Bernie, it's Carlo. Listen, James is not here. He's over 20 minutes late. I don't know what to do. I don't have my car. My parents have my car. I can't get to my wedding. Will you, will you please just, just call me or something? Thank you. Jerry. Jerry. Hello. Oh, come on! 
Why is nobody picking up their phone? God damn it! Okay, all right. Relax, relax. Relax, okay. Um. Okay, um, who can I... Oh, no, 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 don't die. No, no, no. Okay, all right. Relax, relax. Okay. Fuck it, okay, all right. Just go. The role of Anna Perdente is now being played by Lynn Marie Stewart. Uh, ah! Ah! Weezy, do you think anybody's noticed that Carlo isn't here yet? I think they all noticed since the wedding was supposed to start half an hour ago. Why hasn't he picked up his phone? I don't know. He's always so tense. Maybe he's had a stroke, God forbid. Oh, shut up, Connie. what I say? what did I say? Why isn't somebody doing something? Ah, jeez, both of you, shut the fuck up, would you? They're probably just stuck in traffic. There's nothing to worry about. They're gonna be here in a minute. Yeah, relax. for a daughter. She just escaped from rehab a few months ago. Can't seem to get rid of her. Holy shit. Kiki Lawrence. Where the hell you been? I loved you in that show you were in, that, uh, uh... Shut up, Albert. Hello, Mrs. Lawrence. How are you? I loved you in that show you did. I'm Anna Perdente, Carlo's mother. Well, your son is late. Speaking of that, who do I have to fuck to get a drink around here? Carlo is late, and I've been sitting here for over an hour. It's the longest I've spent in the same room with my daughter in years. Mm. I'll get you a drink, Miss Lawrence. Thank you. Ooh. Well, this party just picked up. Who are you, hot stuff? Ooh. Ooh. I'm Alfonso. This is my first queer wedding. Would anyone like some champagne? Uh, down here. Well, hello. Joe, I am so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Cool, you lady in a hat. I'm sorry. Thank you, son. I'm Carlo's grandmother, Teresa. And you can go fuck yourself. Here. 
Uh, uh, where is that son of a bitch? I am going to kill him. Well, you know, James. Do not defend him. Do you know what he put me through? I had to get on an L.A. fucking bus to get here. Why didn't you call me? I did call you, but my phone died. Oh, God. Oh, I smell like a pig. Well, you do stink. But you look fantastic. Oh, God. How's Joe? It's amazing he hasn't punched anybody yet. Oh, God. All of a sudden, I'm so nervous. Just snap. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I love you guys. We love you. Okay. Fuck that guy. That's a good shot to you already. Woo! Let's see who's around the party. Hi, Grandma. Hi, sweetie. Ma, you look so different. What have you done to yourself? I changed my hair. Okay. What the hell is this? Jesus Christ. Hi. Hi. You made it. Nothing could have kept me from you. <laughs> I just think. Well, okay. We're all here. Our two grooms are finally here. Most everybody is drunk, myself included. <laughs> Family and friends, we are gathered here today to witness the marriage of Carlo Pred I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Carlo Prudente and Joseph Rivera, who didn't want me to take up too much of your time. They just wanted me to say that when two people love each other, it's only natural that they'd want to spend their lives together because love is what matters most. It doesn't solve everything. It doesn't promise everything. It just matters. And now Carlo and Joe would like to say a little something to each other. Carlo. Nope. Nobody in the world feels as happy as I do right now. I'm sorry. Joe. You know, right? Yeah. I, I know. That's it? No. Got it. Right here. Kiki Lawrence. I fucking loved her on that show. <laughs> Joe and Carlo, you have chosen each other as partners. And as partners, you must continually choose to honor each other as individuals. Do you both promise to grow together and to stay together? and to trust each other, as long as you both shall love? I do. Mm. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alfonso, knock it off. <laughs> what a beautiful wedding. It really is. Everybody? Watch this. Siobhan, will you marry me? Oh my God, I totally will, yes! Everybody, we have an announcement. Now, by the power vested in me by the goddess, I now pronounce you married. Thank you. Thank you. That's my mama. Come here, come here. <laughs> Save some for me. <laughs> mm. 
Your heart, my crawler, won't kill ya. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm kidding with you. Look at him. Look at the oh, look at those pants. Oh, oh, oh my so God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cool. want to do it. I know. <laughs> I guess your caller's not such a loser after all. <laughs> oh, I'm just, you know, I'm kidding. What are you doing to my husband? Well, it's great. Yeah, and you're drunk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's Brenda? Eddie, for God's sakes, we're gonna miss the plane! <sighs> It's time for the married couple's first dance. I heard you were getting married, Joe. I still love you. I want you back. What the fuck? Tell me what would you say If I flashed a peace sign your way Tell me how would you react If I wore bell-bottom slacks I just grab a hold of something I know 